Site specific dance to me is really just dance that's inspired by your surroundings. Recognizing all the ways that we can be inspired by everything that's around us. Inspired to make music. Inspired to create lights. Inspired to let people in on perspectives that they wouldn't be able to see without like crouching down and looking at us from below and exploring it through movement. My name is Marissa Kuchikowski. I'm 22 and a senior in the School of Dance here at UNCG. This thesis process entails creating a 10 to 12 minute dance. And it's pretty much left wide open for us, so we're left with like any and all choices. The idea for this piece came from my visits to London. I studied at the London Contemporary Dance School in fall of 2018. While I was there, I took a site-specific session where I got to like explore an entirely new city through the lens of dance. From that class, my focus shifted and I felt inspired to make dances any and everywhere. That really stuck with me and has been a big driving force in this whole piece and process. My process thus far in moving between the generative rehearsals and the editing rehearsals, generative meaning those are the rehearsals where we go to the sites and just kind of explore and create. Editing being our weekly rehearsals where we come into the studio and harvest what we love. Most of the time translating it in the most literal way possible at first and then kind of just diving into the deep end and seeing where we can take it from there with lighting, movement, videography, and music. My biggest fear in going into this thesis process was having to like be in charge and like have everything together and Having it be a collaborative process has let me let go of that and kind of feel like I'm just part of this team and that we're just exploring some sites and then seeing what we can make on stage. Seeing just different people's ideas about how they think that we can translate. The feeling of that site, some of the literal architectural elements onto the stage. Seeing what clicks, seeing what doesn't. So you're on the ground. Oh, I'm on the ground? Yeah. Okay. Remind me, I know how to contact And you're going to pull me? No, I'm going to pull Marissa. And now you're going to roll out the I'm going to roll. Uh-huh. Wait. Wait. I am working with a few dancers from the School of Dance here, which are Lena and Kate. And then we actually have a foreign exchange student from Beijing Dance Academy in China. Her name is Tuki. And then I'm actually performing in the piece as well. I am working with 
three musicians. We have Will and Damien, who are from the School of Music. And Carson is from the business school, just loves to play music. I'm really excited about how different each night might be viewed and how each night the timing of the lights and the timing of the transitions in the music and the timing of the dancers' movements might make such a massive difference in what the audience perceives. How those work together live on stage in front of an audience can be really stressful, but I'm going to try to just accept that it might be kind of crazy for a few transitions, but that's what comes of this kind of a process. Watching this piece from the inside was pretty difficult since I was a performer myself. The first time I really watched it strictly through a choreography lens was after our first show. Things that were just naturally happening things that I hadn't even directed to happen, that were just falling into place. Some were super magical moments. Having other people to bounce these ideas off of and just like work through the kinks of this project together was, I think, pivotal in the success of this. Well, I'm happy with the way that it turned out.